what we've got here are these little holes in the bark tissue. So I've seen this pest before. I get lots of questions about this and wondering what causes it. But this is the first year in our orchard where I've noticed it pretty bad in a lot of these trees. So they call them sap suckers. And what this is is a woodpecker. I honestly don't know if they are looking for, if they're feeding on the cambium layer, that which is the actively dividing tissue right under the bark, or if they're act, if they're actually trying to find sap, or if there's some sort of insect pest in the bark. Um, if you know the answer to that, please comment below. But this is a bad problem. A few holes in your bark is not going to be the end of your tree. But if these holes are close enough and they make it all the way around the tree, you run the risk of girdling the tree, which is preventing the transfer of sugars, carbohydrates from the leaves down to the roots. And if you cause damage all the way around the bark of a tree, there's a good chance that that tree is going to die completely. The other thing is, as, as I see this damage, I've also noticed that sometimes the damage on the bark it allows for diseases like Cetospora to enter into the tree. A lot of times I'll see this damage one year, and then the next year I see some Cetospora, which is a fungal disease that lives underneath the bark tissue of a tree that's very contagious and can cause a lot of damage long-term to your tree. So what I'm gonna do, I mean, this is just a standard practice for me every year, but I think it will help prevent this from happening through the winter, is that I will wrap my trees with this white tree wrap. I mostly do it to prevent sun scald through the winter, but I think by doing this, I will keep those woodpeckers from causing more damage to the trunk of, of these trees in this orchard. So if you have any questions or know any more about this pest, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I appreciate you watching. Have a good day.